I'm going to show you how you can use Xero accounting software to record your expense claims. For the purposes of this video, when I say expense claims, I mean business expenses that you've paid for personally out of your own cash. Uh, that means you're due to be reimbursed these expenses by your company. Okay, If you've paid for it something out of your business bank account, then there's a different process for that. Uh, so watch our video about bank reconciliations. Okay, If you go to accounts here, you can then go down to expense claims. Okay, Here, if you've got any other unsubmitted claims, they will appear just down here. We don't have any of those yet, so let's just go to add receipt. Okay. So for the demonstration, I'm going to say I've got a Vodafone mobile phone invoice of £40, uh, and I'll be inclusive of VAT, as mobile phones generally are. Okay, so I'm going to do receipt from Vodafone. Date, this will be the invoice date, uh, so let's say that was the 12th of February. Reference, you can put something in here if you like, something to sort of jog your memory, let's do mobile phone bill. You might also want to put the invoice number or something in there as well. Attachment, you could actually attach a copy of the PDF so it's stored in zero. I'd very much recommend you do this uh, as it's perfect for making sure you've got the records whether you're, if you're ever unfortunate enough to have a HMRC inspection. Uh, since this is a, a fake one, I'm not going to do it, but you shouldn't be putting through fake claims. Okay, in uh, total box, I'm going to leave that blank because it'll calculate it for me. Include tax, yep, yeah, I'll say this is VAT inclusive, so let's continue. Okay, description, so we'll put uh, February mobile phone bill. Okay, quantity one, and I said, I remember if I said 40 or 50, but let's put 50. Okay, account. We choose from the drop down menu the, the most appropriate account to categorize this expense. For this, telephone and internet sounds pretty perfect, so let's go for that. Okay, 20% VAT on expenses, that's right. If there's no VAT, put no VAT. I'd very much recommend you always check the receipts because VAT can be pretty illogical at times, particularly if you're dealing with food. If you've got some lunch expenses to put through, you might find that's pretty complicated with some items including VAT, others not. If you do have that situation, you could use this add a new line bit so that you can have one line for items with VAT on and another line for items without VAT. Okay. Region is of uh, zero tracking fields, which are turned on in the zero account. They might not be on yours. Uh, basically, you can get this to say whatever you want, and then you could later filter it. So you could, for example, look at all the expenses that have been coded to the south region. Or it could be, you could, have, you could set up your customer names here, so you could uh, then see all the expenses incurred for that customer, and also the sales for that customer, and then see the profitability of that customer, which can be quite useful. Okay, but that's it for this. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. It's also worth noting that you could be using the Zero Touch app to do expense claims, which works really well. It's uh, an iPhone app and an Android app. You see all of those fields that we've just used, but you can also take a photo with your phone at the same time as doing it. Uh, so that's a good way of just making sure you've you've got some evidence uh, for that claim. Okay, if we have any more to add at this stage, you can do Add Receipt but for now I'm just going to pick the ones that I want to submit for approval, which is just I want, and submit for approval. Okay. Right, so it's a fairly convoluted process because, if you're a one-man business anyway, because it's set up for someone else to review your expense claims before they're paid out. So what you see is it's now in awaiting authorization, and the next stage will be awaiting payment there. But let's click on awaiting authorization. Here is my claim. Uh, Yep, one receipt, £50. Pounds. Let's click on that. Okay, so yes, I've just entered it. I know it's right. I've got the receipt next to me, so I'm happy. Let's click approve. All we now need to do is put a payment due date. I'm going to put today's date and a reporting date. I'm also going to put today's date. Reporting date is kind of what point it hits your profit and loss. If Does it hit in February? Does it hit in January? I would recommend you always put today's date, it's just the easiest way. If it's a particularly big invoice, then you might want to put the receipt date, um, but today's date will pretty much always be fine, so let's click Authorize. And that's it really, it's a, here it is, in awaiting payment. This shows I'm owed £50 by my company, so I could now log into my internet banking and do a bank transfer of £50 from my company account to my personal account, and that's it, job done. 
I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.